Genesis chapter 1 verses 26. Genesis chapter 1 verses 26. Then God said, Let us make man in our image and image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every cattle, over everything on the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. 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 Verse 26 says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. And I want us to read chapter 1, verses 1 downwards. The same Genesis. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God divided the light from darkness. God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament. Firmament. Amen. Amen. Let us jump to the verse 9. Then God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Amen. 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 The Bible says, God said, Let us make man in our own image and like after our own likeness. Amen. Amen. The Bible says he made man both male and female. So if you hear, you are in the image and likeness of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, God, when it comes to the image of God, it has nothing to do with color. Amen. When we talk about God's image, it has nothing to do with color. Amen. So whether you're black, purple, or white, you are made in the image and likeness of God. So in the book of Genesis, when God said, let us make man in our image after all likeness he made man in his own image after his own likeness but the bible said god gave dominion over man to rule over everything have dominion over the whole earth so if you only have the book of genesis in your hands and the bible said god made man in his own image and likeness how would you know what the image of god is mm -hmm. hallelujah amen do we understand yes if you only have the book of Genesis, because in Genesis chapter 1, that is when we see God saying, let us make man our image. So if we were to read the previous verses before the 26, what was the image of God? Or what was the likeness of God? Hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody help me here? Just the verse 1 to 26, before God said, let us make man our image. From 1 to 20, how can you know the image of God? Because God said, let us make man in our image. Right? Mm -hmm. So what is the image and likeness of God? Just based on the verses prior to 26. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, God said, let us make man in our image. God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, let, it, let there be this. And there was this. God said, God said. He divided the light from darkness. He divided the waters from the dry land. So just based on a few verses before God said, let us make man in our own image and likeness. If we were to study the image and likeness of God in those few verses, you would know 
how God made you to be and how you ought to operate on this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we can see that the way God operates, let there be light and there is light. His peaks and pins are made. Hallelujah. Amen. His peak and pins are here. When God wants to change pins, He does not speak to darkness. But it speak what he wants to see and the things he wants to see up here. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. If we want to have light in this place, what do we do? Pray? Ah, uh, it's not a trick question. <laughs> if we want to have light, everybody is scared to answer. If we want to get light in this place, what do we do? It's just turn on the switch. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. If it's nighttime, there is no light, and you want to have light, what would you do? Turn on the switch. Are you going to stay out of darkness? I command you to go. Amen. Darkness, go. Darkness, go. Darkness, go. No, no, no. You just turn on the light. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when God wanted to have light, he did not battle with darkness. Amen. Are you getting the picture? That is who you are. I'm describing who you are to you. When God wanted to have light, He did not battle with darkness. He just said, let her be light. Amen. Amen. When He wanted to what? When He wanted the waters to move, He said, let the dry land up here. Hallelujah. Amen. He spoke what He wanted to see, and these things happened. Amen. Amen. And we saw that God is a God that makes things beautiful, that makes things nice. Because when the earth was void, full of darkness, when things were not going on well, God made things beautiful. He made things nice. He made things wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He made things up here. He made the fishes, the birds, and everything. And now the Bible said, let me make man. Let us make man. But God had the trinity talking. Let us make man in our own image after our own likeness. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, this man that I am making, this man that I'm giving birth to, he will be just like me. He will operate just like me. He will do things just like me. He's not just in my image. He is after my own likeness. Do you understand? Yes. Are we getting it? Yes. Okay. So if God made you in his own image after his own likeness, Meaning when things are not going on well in your life, you act like God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You speak to things just as God will speak to things. Mm -hmm. You treat things the way God will treat things. Mm -hmm. And the things will respond to you the way God the way they will respond to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the Spirit of God was hovering over the whole earth. And when God spoke, the Spirit of God brought the light. Hallelujah. Amen. And because God has made you in His own image and likeness, He has given you His Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Almighty Holy Ghost He has given to you. Yes. To cause changes everywhere you go. Oh, yes. Every area of your life, yes. in your family, in your marriage, in your education. Hallelujah. Amen. You can live a better life. Amen. 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 Tell somebody my life can be changed. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I have a glorious future. I have a glorious future. Oh, say it with confidence. I have a glorious future. I have a glorious future. I have a glorious oh, future. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. That is why your life cannot fail. Mm -hmm. Oh. Amen. Child of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that God has made you in His own image and likeness. You're not somebody that is useless. Mm. You can shape your future. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You can shape things to be the way you want them to be. God has given you His DNA. Mm -hmm. He has made you just like himself to make things beautiful when they are ugly. Mm -hmm. When 
weapons are not functioning well, when they're not going on well, God said, cause a change if you want to. Don't wait for me to come do it. I want you to speak to things and things will change. Don't wait for a prophet to come. I want you to speak to things and things will change. <laughs> Don't wait for anybody. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to see something. Joel 2.28. To any shall come to pass. Afterward, but I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour on my spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in heaven and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Amen. Amen. I read the verse 20 again. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour my spirit on, on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Be our flesh and blood on you. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you born again? Yes. Have you received Jesus? Yes. Amen. Amen. This prophecy was fulfilled in the book of Acts chapter 2. When the Holy Ghost came upon the disciples during the celebration of Pentecost. Amen. Amen. That is when the apostles received the Holy Ghost. And Jesus said, Wait, tarry in Jerusalem, the Holy Ghost shall come, you sh shall come upon you. You shall be clothed with power from on high. And when you receive that power, you shall be my witnesses. So this prophecy was fulfilled. When it was fulfilled, Peter referred to what Joel had written. Amen. Amen. So God gave a prophecy through Joel years ago. And he said, A time is going to come. That I'll pour my spirit on all flesh. Why did God say all flesh? Why? Because back then in the time of the prophets, of Moses, Elijah, Elijah, the spirit of God will be poured only upon the prophets, only upon the king, and only upon the priests. Hallelujah. Amen. To do the work of service, and after that, the Holy Ghost will leave. Anytime they will need to do the service, the Holy Ghost will come upon them. But the Bible says, a time is going to come, I will pour it on all flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. So you don't need to be a prophet, a king, or a priest first. Matter of fact, he has made you a king and a priest. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So this is the ministry that a prophet's had before. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants all of his children to prophesy. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants all of his sons and daughters to prophesy. That is God's mind concerning your life. He wants you to be able to prophesy things. Amen. Amen. Our last scripture. Let us go to Corinthians. First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 14, verses 1. It says, Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts. But especially that you may prophesy. For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to man but to God. For no one understands him, however the Spirit speaks mysteries. But he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, but he who prophesies edifies the church. I wish you all spoke with tongues. But even more than you prophesy, for he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks with a tongue, unless indeed he interprets that the church may receive edification. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Paul said, I wish that you all prophesied. And it is his hard desire that every single person will prophesy. He's not talking about the gift of prophecy for one particular person. Amen. He was talking about the prophetic ministry for every single Christian. Comparing it to the gifts, the, the prayer language of speaking in tongues for every single Christian. Amen. Amen. And it said, it is my heart desire that every single Christian prays in tongues. 
but yet more that he all prophesied. He said, but because he will prophesy, he speaks the edification, comfort, and exhortation. Hallelujah. Amen. So God has given you his Holy Spirit, not for the Holy Ghost to just stay in you without any fear, without doing anything. He's not just giving you the Holy Spirit just for the sake of giving you the Holy Spirit. There is a reason why He's giving you the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He does not want your life to be a mess. Mm. The earth has become a mess. Mm -hmm. And God needed His Word and the Holy Ghost to cause changes. Mm -hmm. He does not want your life to be a mess. He does not want that generation of curses following you. He does not want that generation of Satan and disease and the voice following your life. He does not want the things happen to your ancestors following you. Hallelujah. But he wants you to cause changes in your life. Amen. But he wants you to be able to prophesy in your own life. He wants you to be able to speak good things in your own life. He doesn't want you to always wait upon the prophet in order for you to receive a word that will make your heart feel it. I see me down my mouth to meet you. Hallelujah. When a prophet comes and tells you, oh, this year you will conquer. This year you will conquer. You will be great. Oh, amen. Then you get so happy. Amen. amen. But God wants you to get to a place when you wake up in the morning. And you say this year, I'm going to be more than a conqueror. Oh, yes. I'm going to change things. Oh, yes. I'm going to change my circumstance. Yes, yes. I'm going to be healthy. Oh, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yes. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Mm -hmm. He wants you to prophesy in your life. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Your life will be so excellent. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I don't wait for any prophet to prophesy to me. No. When they come, I'm happy. Amen. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But every single day, when I wake up, I say the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Oh, yes. Because He's anointed me to preach the good news. Oh, yes. To set the captives free. Yes. To heal the brokenhearted. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm speaking unto myself. And I'm edifying myself. I'm building myself. I'm encouraging myself. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, Be filled with the Spirit. Speaking to yourself in hymns and songs and spiritual songs making melody in your heart unto God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you start speaking into your life, mm -hmm. you will see that you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the things that are supposed to make you worry, when they come, it's nothing to you. Mm -hmm. The things that are supposed to put fear in you, when these things come out across your way, you're not afraid. Hallelujah. That is why you speak boldly. Though I won't put the bodies of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Hallelujah. Amen. David knew the secret. The Bible said David encouraged himself. He strengthened himself in the Lord. He is strengthening his own self. Sometimes David will speak to himself. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He speaks to his own self. He was not talking to anybody. He was ministering to his own soul. Sometimes they'll say, my soul, why are you cast down? Rise up, my soul. Have hope in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Fix things into his own life. Ten thousand shall fall on my side. Ten thousand shall fall on my right hand. Hallelujah. Amen. He speaks to his own self. Yeah. The same way God wants you to prophesy. Yes. In your own life. Yes. Amen. Amen. When things are not going on well, you get up. When the devil tries to attack you in a dream, hallelujah. You see the devil trying to come as a serpent biting you, using a, a, a knife to stab you or do something, you get up. In the name of Jesus, yes. you start to speak to your own life, and you reverse that which he has done. Hallelujah. Amen. The power he has given it to you. Amen. 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 You see, there is a difference between a Christian and a non-Christian. The non-Christian might speak words and it will have power in it. Hallelujah. But to a certain limitation. The non-Christian might speak words and the demons will take their words to fulfill certain things. Hallelujah. Amen. 
But the Christian, the kind of power you have is the power of Almighty God. And when you speak words, there are angels that are released to perform your words. Yes. There are spirit beings that are released, sent from God to, to accomplish that which you have spoken. Amen? Amen. So when you start at this early stage of the year, start speaking things into your life. The moment you get to February, there are angels waiting for you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You get to March, there are angels waiting for you. Okay. They have paved the way for you. Why? Because you have spoken these things already. So when you get there, you just enter into the door. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says we are God's work mansion, created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Once God prepared for us before the foundations of the world, that we might walk in them. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In other words, your life has already been mm -hmm. written down. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You see those movie stars, they have a script. Amen. Mm -hmm. The role they're supposed to play in the movies is already written down. Mm -hmm. So they just take their script and act. Hallelujah. The same way your life is written down already. But you have to know what God has said concerning your life. Mm -hmm. And there are many things He's written in His Word. Yes. So you just take it and you start speaking it. Hallelujah. Yes. And you are better than a movie star. Hallelujah. Yes. Because while you're playing your role in life, you are doing that which God has called you to do. The angels are observing, they are watching you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. They're clapping their hands. Mm -hmm. Look at that star of God. Yes. Amen. You get so fascinated when you see Hollywood stars. Nollywood stars, all Bollywood stars, amen. amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Playing, acting somehow in the movie, it's just a script. Somebody wrote it and they were there. They're, they're just acting. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. The same way God has written a script concerning your life. Yes. Amen. And you two, you take it and you act it. And there's angels watching you. Oh. Mm -hmm. But also we have a crowd of witness. Mm -hmm. they, are observe, they are watching you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So you take the word of God and you start speaking it in your life. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Before you give birth to your children, as married couples, you take the word of God, you start prophesying in your children's life. Yes. You start prophesying on your womb. Hallelujah. Amen. You start prophesying, you lay your hands on your womb. You start to speak in the name of Jesus. My baby will come out of the right time. I'm not going to have any premature birth. In the name of Jesus, any hands upon this stomach, this womb will not prosper. Mm -hmm. My children will serve the living God. They will be men of God. They will walk according to the word of God. Mm -hmm. You speak into their life before they are born. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the enemy is speaking things concerning your children's life before they are born. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Don't sit down and say, oh, if God wants me to be a prophet, I'll be a prophet. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. If God really wants me to be a man, I'll be a man. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. He has said it. So you, you live your life in here because God has oh, okay. You know how many people that have died in their sins? They have died without seeing the glory of God. Jesus said, if you believe, you will see what? The glory of God. Many people have died without accepting the Lord Jesus Christ. Israel, because of their unbelief, they rejected Jesus. Don't think. You see, God has said it, but it is up to you to say it. Also, come into our agreement with them. And speak the things you have spoken concerning your life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That is why Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. So if you're living by the words that comes out of the mouth of God, what God has said, you speak it. You don't let the word of God depart out of your mouth. So let us hear. If you want to read marvelous, wonderful, excellent things in the middle of the year, at the end of the year, it depends on the things you're speaking in your life now. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Before I came to Ghana, when the Lord showed me to come to Ghana this year, that's when I started speaking. I said, oh, when I go to Ghana, I'm going to meet the right people. I'm going to meet the right people. I'll have all the finances I need in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All the connections I need. I will have it in the name of Jesus. Any car accidents that come against it in the name of Jesus. 
Every single day I was speaking, 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 speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. And the moment I got here, just things were falling into place. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. People struggled and enjoying life. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy. Hallelujah. Amen. I find life wonderful. Amen. I don't remember the last time I said, mm, I'm stressed. Ah, oh. Hot. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I am fine. Ay, ay, ay. Amen. I'll be using it. I'll that. I'll buy that. I am fine. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You can enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can enjoy life. Yeah. Sometimes you can be so filled with the Holy Ghost, you don't know what to do to yourself. Mm -hmm. You feel like jumping from a building. Mm -hmm. You're just so happy. Mm -hmm. Nothing worries you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't let the things of this world make you get afraid. Don't let the fears of this world get into you. Don't let the economies of this world put fear in you. You're not of this world anyways. Your economy is not of this world. Your health is not of this world. Your money is not of this world. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. When you hear news, this is what is going to happen. <laughs> H1N1. Amen. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. I say no sickness or disease shall come near my habitation. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, before I came to Ghana, many people were saying, oh, make sure you take this kind of vaccination, this kind of pills, this kind of pill, that kind of pill, because Ghana, the food is not healthy. And you might fall sick if you eat this kind of food. Some people are falling sick. When you get bitten by a mosquito, you get malaria, blah. Okay. I said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. And I started saying that to myself. I said, when I go to Ghana, whatever I eat is clean. Because the Bible says, whatever God has made clean, we can eat. Mm -hmm. And I shall be healthy. Mm -hmm. Nothing will kill me. The Bible says, even if you drink poison, it will not hurt you. Mm -hmm. So I started speaking these things. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I know what the word has said is true. So when you speak it into your lives, everything aligns together for your own good. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is why you should not be afraid no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. You might be sitting in a car. In those truck truck a crack truck trucks and all that. And those drivers that are driving rough. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Amen. I command this car to reach its destination. Oh, yes. Amen. Before I came to Ghana, many people called me and they said they saw visions of my plane crashing. Mm -hmm. They really crashed. You didn't reach Ghana, you died. Another person called me and said he had a vision of my plane entered the ocean. And I died there. Hallelujah. Amen. Many things they saw. I said, okay. <laughs> You've seen it, amen. But I see a different vision. Hallelujah. And I started picturing the word of God. That has told me that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hallelujah. Because the word says I shall see visions. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So then I see what the Lord Jesus Christ sees. Amen. He was just showing them what the devil has planned. But then I took the word. Say in the name of Jesus. I'm going to take that plane and get to Ghana see. Because that is what God has planned for my life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, I will take it. I'm not going to change flight. Mm -hmm. You see, you work at court. I'm not saying go do that because I'm saying I do that. Amen. It's based on your faith, on your walk with the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And I said, I want to take the plane. Even if it's not for my sake and it's for the sake of the people that they want to kill them, I want to be there to intercede for them so that they will not die. Because I am the light of this world. Yes. And no matter where I, I am, I will not see death take place. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So when you start prophesying every day in your life, when you wake up in the morning, you don't just get up and rush to work. Some of us will get up, you don't pray, you don't do you just get up, you go to work, and then things are happening, you are stressed. Oh, and then you should go to your mom. And then you should go to your mom. And you are losing money. This is happening. You are getting frustrated and upset at everybody. No. But you get up and you speak in the day. Hallelujah. You speak throughout the day. He said, today my business will prosper. 
many people will come to my store and buy my items. Amen. You speak with faith for the day and you release the angels of God. Hallelujah. So that you're walking in that which you've spoken. Amen. Don't think God does magic. Mm -mm. God doesn't do magic. He has made you just like himself. Jesus said, anybody that has faith has grain of mustard seed. <laughs> he shall tell this mountain to move. And it shall what? Did he say, if you have faith as a mustard seed, I will move the mountain for you? No. Did he say that? No. no. He said, you will tell the mountain to move, and it will what? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The certain things that are not going on well in you, just speak. Prophesy. Hallelujah. But you prophesy according to the word of God. Amen. So you take the things God has already written concerning your life. And then you start to speak. When you start to speak, the Holy Ghost will accomplish everything you have spoken. Because it's according to the word of God. So that your life will not be stressful. Amen. Your life, you will not be frustrated in life. If you're a student, you start to speak, I'm going to get a grades in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'll be the head and not the tail of my school. Mm -hmm. I'll always be above and not beneath. Mm -hmm. I have an excellent mind. I have a perfect mind. I have a sound mind. I understand everything my teachers teach me. You start to speak these things in your life. Hallelujah. You speak these things and then you study also. What your teachers are giving you. Hallelujah. You will see how excellent you'll be in your school. Hallelujah. You will see how different you'll be from other classmates or schoolmates. Your life will be different. Amen. At your workplace, your life will be different. Make use of the word God has given you. Make use of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Prophesy into your life. Say, my sons and daughters, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Prophesy into your life. Prophesy in the life of your mother. Prophesy in the life of your father. Prophesy in the life of your children. Prophesy in your life in every area. Prophesy in years to come. Mm -hmm. So that when you get there, things will be there waiting for you. Hallelujah. They'll be there waiting for you to enter. Amen. That is how Jesus' life was. Everything he did, it was based on Lord's plan. He was walking with the Spirit of God every day. Hallelujah. So walk with the Word of God. Prophesy and let the Spirit of God accomplish the good things in your life. Amen. Amen. So when things are not going on well, don't get bothered. Amen. Because you can make changes. You have the power of Almighty God. You have the Word of God. Speak that which you want to see because God has made you in His own image. After His own what? Likeness. Amen. Amen. Birthday. And God said, let there be a firmament. Firmament. Amen. Amen. Let us jump to the verse 9. Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so. Amen. 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 The Bible says, God said, let us Make man in our own image and like after our own likeness. Amen. Amen. The Bible says he made man both male and female. So if you hear, you are in the image and likeness of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, God, when it comes to the image of God, it has nothing to do with color. Amen. When we talk about God's image, it has nothing to do with color. Amen. So whether you're black, purple, or white, you are made in the image and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. So in the book of Genesis, when God said, let us make man in our image, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. 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 Verse 26 says, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. And I want us to read the chapter 1, verses 1 downwards. The same Genesis. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. 
and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God divided the light from darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the Genesis chapter. One verses twenty six. Genesis chapter one verses twenty six. Then God said, Let us make man in our image and image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air, and over every cattle, over everything on the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. After all likeness, he made man in his own image, after his own likeness. But the Bible said God gave dominion over man. To rule over everything. Have dominion over the whole earth. So if you only have the book of Genesis in your hands. And the Bible said God made man in his own image and likeness. How would you know what the image of God is? Hallelujah. Amen. Do we understand? Yes. If you only have the book of Genesis, because in Genesis chapter 1, that is when we see God saying, let us make man our image. So if we were to read the previous verses before the 26, what was the image of God? Or what was the likeness of God? Hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody help me here? Just the verse 1 to 20 is before God said, let us make kind of our image. From 1 to 20, how can you know the image of God? Because God said, let us make man our image. Right? Mm -hmm. So what is the image and likeness of God? Just based on the verses prior to 26. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, God said, let us make man our uh, God said, let there be light, and there was light. God said, let, it, let there be this, and there was this. God said, God said, He divided the light from darkness. He divided the waters from the dry land. So just based on the few verses before God said, let us make man in our own image and like, if we were to study the image and likeness of God in those few verses, you would know how God made you to be and how you ought to operate on this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we can see that the way God operates, let there be light and there is light. His peaks and fins are made. Hallelujah. Amen. His peak and fins are here. When God wants to change fins, He does not speak to darkness, but He speaks what He wants to see, and the fins He wants to see up here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. If you want to have